For many who tour Fort Union National Monument, they're surprised to find this large Civil War earthwork fortification. And in fact, the second Fort Union, the Civil War earthwork, is actually the largest Civil War for earthwork fortification west of the Mississippi. When the Civil War broke out in April of 1861, the New Mexico Territory was an area that both the North and the South needed to win the war. Think of all the vast riches that were running up and down the Santa Fe Trail at any given time. Well, in order to control the New Mexico Territory, one had to control Fort Union. At this time, Fort Union had already become the largest fort out here in the Southwest, supplying well over 40 forts within a 600 mile radius. In August of 1861, the fort's commander, Major Chapman, realized that the first fort's uh, location was not an ideal place to defend itself against Confederate artillery. So the entire post of the first fort was moved out well over a mile away from the bluffs to construct this large earthwork. This fort is 1,001,250 square feet, just a hair under 23 acres. And even though it would take several months to complete all the nuances and intricate details and structures of the fort, the majority of it was built in less than a week. For the majority of the people that built this fort, they were the newly recruited Hispanic volunteers in the New Mexico regiments. At, at uh, four hour shifts, working uh, 200 people at a time, this fort was constructed through the blood, sweat, and tears of those sons of Coronado that, that lived in this land that originally had fought against the United States Army during the Mexican-American War. Regardless, this fort is a true testament to the Civil War beyond the Mississippi, out here into the West. 